Hi, I'm True Weather Meteorologist Mark Shannonberger. And July 4th, it's in the rearview mirror. We're moving into the warmest weeks of the summer on average. So naturally, you're thinking, what does this winter look like, right? Well, maybe not, unless you're a business that depends on the winter. In that case, the earlier you can get any type of glimpse into what's coming this winter, the better. Here in this short video, we'll take a very broad overview of what signals we're seeing for this upcoming winter and compare them to similar seasons in the past. First, let's look at the ENSO or El Nino Southern Oscillation, which at this point is showing signals of being neutral or weekly La Nina during the 2021-22 winter season. The season appears to possibly start in a weak La Nina before becoming more neutral as the season goes on. Looking back, the 2013-14 season had similar signals and is a decent analog to start with. However, 2013-14 was also a fairly cold and snowy winter and was closer to a weak La Nina than the upcoming season is expected to be. Seasons that were neutral to negative under the La Nina threshold showed similar characteristics to that 2013-14 winter season as seen here. During these seasons, strong ridging was present in the west and a trough in the east. Expanding our search a little further, we looked into the QBO or quasi-biennial oscillation, which is likely to be negative this upcoming winter. During these winters, we also saw signals of a ridge over the western United States. The combination of a low solar winter and a negative QBO do a fairly consistent job of producing a cold and snowy winter in the east, as many of our other signals would suggest. Obviously, it's still early in the process and there's still a lot to digest between now and then, but hopefully this can give you an educated glimpse into what this upcoming winter could look like across the United States. If you'd like more information on True Weather, you can find us on the web at truewx.com. Also, make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and like us on Facebook.